What is up, Wolfpack? Just got back from an awesome overnight camping trip in the Smoky Mountains and figured I'd do a quick video showing you all of the gear that I took on that particular trip, how it was able to fit all inside this really ultra lightweight Osprey backpack that I'll, I'll show you off in, in the end of the video. And we'll be able to walk through all of the gear you need for an awesome, this was a two night camping trip. Stick around to the end of the video because we're gonna be giving away an SC4. All you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment and you'll be instantly, uh, instantly entered to win one of these awesome SC4 giveaways as well as over $500 worth of goodies uh, to start your ultralight bug out kit. A lot of the gear that's on this table uh, will be included as part of that giveaway. All you do is subscribe and leave a comment and you'll be instantly entered. Stick around to the end of the video to, to find out all of the details. So just got back from a two night camping trip in the Smoky Mountains. I put, uh, have everything here that was in my backpack. This is all the gear that I used uh, for that particular overnight trip and wanted to walk through all of the gear that's on this table and hopefully it'll inspire you to go and take your own overnight camping trip uh, and the ability to really go out and practice with your gear, practice with your fire steels, practice with your fire making capabilities, practice with your water purification capabilities your shelter kit, everything. It's the opportunity to really flex your skills, really get out in nature, You know, actually be able to separate from the constant notifications of the phone. It was a beautiful spot. Uh, there's no people around. It was really, really nice. And so I hope this video inspires you to really get out there and uh, and just enjoy, enjoy the outdoors, enjoy nature. And so in no particular order, let's go through. So obviously the SE4, this is you know the, the, the knife that stays on my hip. Uh, it's the ability to process wood, the ability to, um, to, to do everything, to spark your fire steel, to be able to create feather sticks, uh, to be able to uh, actually eat your meals at night. And so you'll be able to, uh, to do that all with a, this, is, this knife you could take to the end of the world. I mean, I have my beater that I actually used. This one's the one for the giveaways. And so we keep that here. And so the knife. In addition to that, I mean, this thing is so lightweight. I mean, you could see it's like literally nothing, but it's the Baco Laplander and it's absolutely incredible for processing larger chunks of wood. Yes, you could use your SE4 to baton, you know, three inch uh, actual um, uh, tree limbs, but this just cuts through it like hot butter. It requires no skill at all, unlike the Silky that only pulls on the, uh, that only cuts on the pull stroke. This thing cuts in both directions. It's absolutely bulletproof. It's a tank. It's super lightweight. Doesn't have any hot spots. This is like a rubber oval mold. It's super good. It's 20 bucks. I recommend putting it in every, whether it's your camping pack or your bug out pack, uh, the Baco Laplander, absolutely phenomenal. To keep both of those sharp, uh, well, really more than just the SC4 sharp. They've got just a little small ultra lightweight pocket sharpener kit. You'll be able to have two different carbide tips to be able to just put a, a quick edge on there as well as a coarse honing steel so you can really you know, just knock down any burrs that, that come from hitting a knot of wood. And so this is basically your cutting kit. I'll be able to take, you know, get, get that taken care of. Um, next, black gold. Uh, you know, a, a roll of Gorilla Tape. I mean, this thing's phenomenal. You can use this for everything from patching your tent and tarp setup to repairing your shoes to uh, covering a hot spot on your feet uh, as like makeshift moleskin. And so you've got this all here, black gold. Um, get, the, get the small little three inch roll. Uh, you'll be able to do, do whatever you want. Uh, love this thing. I mean, it sits in my pack. It's absolutely black gold. A compass as well as ranger beads. Um, really important for navigation for whatever reason, you know, we, we went out on a couple mile hike outside from the campsite. And so be able to just get your bearings. Um, I've got a, uh, Garmin Phoenix that I use and has built in GPS, but always good to have some backups. And so you've got this as well as the Ranger beads, because if you don't know how far you're walking, your compass and map is pretty much useless. In addition to that, I mean, this is a garage toolkit in your pocket. Uh, this thing is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, this is the Leatherman Wave. You could just theoretically uh, go out there with this, and I'll, I'm gonna, you know, make sure to subscribe because we're gonna be leaving a uh, a video here. Uh, we're gonna be doing a full full video. By the way, if you're enjoying this gear, give me a thumbs up. Um, you know, this this video we, we spent a few hours just putting prepping all this gear for you, and so if you if you're learning something, if you're enjoying this video, hook me up with a thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithm. So this thing, I mean, absolutely phenomenal. I love this. You know, the Leatherman Wave. Um, it's, it's 
fits in your hand. It's got everything from wire cutters to needle nose pliers to actual pliers. Um, but then with one handed operation, you'll be able to pull out a really solid knife. You've got the saw here. And then if you want, you've got the, the actual fixed blade. And so you've got an awesome kit. It's a little hefty, but you've got an entire tool chest in your pocket. And then if you wanted to add some additional extras, you can, um, you can add these. These are the like little Leatherman bits. And so, you know, if you needed a uh, Torx wrench, for instance, to just wrench on your gun at the gun range, you've got this and you can just throw it in your pocket and you'll always have a tool ready to go. And so this thing's phenomenal, fits in your pocket, really, really solid piece of kit. Some noon tablets, uh, so noon hydration. And so, uh, you know, when we're going on those multi, multi mile hikes, you wanna make sure that you're replacing your electrolytes. I love these things, it's super compact. It comes with a really solid hard plastic case. And so you'll be able to foot, fit it in your, uh, your fanny pack, which we'll actually cover next. And uh, you'll be able to get all of your sodium, your potassium, make sure you're not cramping. And so super important. Speaking of which, you know, we talked about water hydration, but let's, before we get into that, let's actually talk about the fanny pack. The fanny pack, this is my tier one kit. And so, yeah, we've got all of this awesome gear in my, um, in my backpack, but this goes on my fanny, uh, in the fanny pack, and it'll either fit into my pants. I'll either unload some of the gear in here and put it in my zippered pants pockets so I don't lose it. Uh, or it'll stay in this fanny pack, which stays on my body the entire weekend. And the reason being is if I'm ever separated from my pack, which happens more often than not, you know, you're, you're on your hike, you rest your backpack down and you accidentally slip on a cliff and fall down. And now you're multi miles away from, well, maybe not multi miles, but definitely hundreds of feet away from uh, the actual hiking path. And what do you do? You know, you've got a sprain, a broken leg. Uh, you can't get back to the, you can't get back up on the cliff. Happens often, you know, look at search and rescue. And so if you're separated from your pack, you've got your fanny pack and you've got that sitting on your hip. You've got everything here and we'll, we'll unpack what's in here. So in the front, I keep all of my self-defense stuff. So number one, I'll put this on. This is an awesome neck knife. It's the K-Bar Last Ditch. Absolutely phenomenal. Fits as a neck knife, ultra lightweight. I mean, weighs absolutely nothing. But for whatever reason, you know, you've got this blade and it's an awesome self-defense tool. And so if you've got that cougar, that, uh, that mountain lion that was chasing that runner, you know, you poke this in the eye, I guarantee you it's gonna run away. And so while it's not a big knife, it's not, not no, nowhere near the SE4 or anything larger than that, it is a last ditch knife. And that's literally why it's called the last ditch. It fits right as a neck knife. Uh, you'll be able to pull this out and I guarantee you, anyone that's trying to attack you, you know, getting stabbed in the clavicle, they're gonna immediately wanna change their mind. And so you've got that. In addition to that, you've got some, uh, the, the Olight. You know, this is just a small little cheap, cheap little, uh, you know, and so you've got, this is the low, and then if you wanna go double, this is the, the, the high, high beam. I believe this is 300 lumens. What I like about this is it's a pocket light, but in addition to that, you can see that it's got the, uh, see, it, you can even fit it as a, as on your hat. And so you can actually wear this as a headlamp. And so you've got these two things sitting in the front. And then the last, a small piece of, uh, of saber, um, saber pepper spray. And you know, if, you've, if you've got a black bear coming at you um, or just any wildlife, you've got this, you know, a rabid dog, you'll be able to just click this over, spray it, and then you'll be able to separate. Uh, obviously I had my firearm on me, but you know, always good to have multiple layers of protection. And so we'll put that all back. That's in the front. And so you've got self-defense here, but on the top, we've got a couple different things. Number one, you've got a backup blade, a multi-tool. I love this thing. This thing is the Victor Knox uh, one-handed trekker. And so not only does it have this awesome blade, um, you've got, you know, the, what I like about this is it's, it's a reverse combo. So normally you'd see the serrations down here and the, uh, the flat up here, but this one, as you can see, has the serrations on the front and the straight edge here. So you can still do your fine bush crafting or you can cut cordage. And so you can do both. The one issue that I have with this, as you can see here, it's not a, like, it, it's, it does require two hands in order to put it back. Um, so you wanna, you wanna be careful there. Um, but in addition to that, it's also got a full length saw. And so you've basically got a backup to your full, full size knife and your Baco Laplander literally sitting in your pocket. Uh, you've got tweezers. I've actually pulled out splinters 
from my hand using these things. They actually work really well. You've got a couple other, you know, you've got you know, a bottle opener, you know, open up your Topo Chico's, obviously super important. You've got a ton of extra gear. You've got um, a can opener here. And so, you know, let's say you made it to camp, you brought some camp food, you forgot your can opener. You've always got that. And so it's always good to have backups. And so this so much lighter than the Leatherman Wave. And so this will actually fit in my pocket while this one stays in my backpack. So this is more of like the, the giant tool chest. This is the backup. Um, highly recommend everyone grabs one of these. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, you know, in addition to that, let's see what else we got back here. You've got a little awl. So you can see here, it's actually in the middle. And so you can, you know, punch through heavy canvas or leather uh, or create a, another belt loop uh, in your belt. And then in addition to that, you've got a bit driver. And this is in the center. What I like about it in the center, it gives you maximum torque. Um, and so you've got that ready to go. So that that goes in my zippered pocket. I have, I have camping pants that go zip, zipper pocket. In addition, I'm gonna walk you through what else goes in my zippered pocket. The next thing is my fire steel. And so let's pull that out. So this is this also goes in my pocket. And so this this fire steel, um, you know, you can see end up used used quite a bit, um, and so throwing some throwing a couple sparks, the ability to start fire. Fire is everything in the wilderness. It is the ability to boil your water. It's the ability to create illumination. It's the ability to create warmth, which is your shelter. And so you've literally got so many opportunities here. It's protection. You know, a a stick wrapped in fire tarred cloth is going to scare away most animals in the wilderness. And so between these two, these two go in my zippered pocket. You, you, you can do a lot. You could create a shelter. You could create uh, a fire. You could boil your water. Uh, you could do a lot with this. In addition to that, to make things even easier, I'll just leave this for here for now. I love this thing. This may be my favorite. If you only get one thing on this table, this is it. The Uber Lieben Fire Tinder Wick. Absolutely phenomenal. Probably my favorite piece of fire making kit. It makes starting fire so much easier. The way this works is you push this through and you can see here there's a little bit of, let's actually use the uh, this to pull it out. This is why we have this here. You can see here, pull, grab and pull. So you can see here, I'm gonna just use this to fray this up. So this is the Uberlieben Tinderwick. And you can see here, it's basically paraffin, paraffin wrapped jute twine. And instead of lighting your Tinder bundle, this, it makes it super easy to light. You just literally pl place this on the ground, spark it directly on the edge of, edge of this, and it'll light up and it basically creates a candle. And the candle you can stick into your Tinder bush. And it, it, this, this gives you over an hour of flame, just just this this piece of kit. So you've got an, over an hour of flame. If your tinder is wet, if your if your fire bush is wet, you can actually stick it in there long enough to dehydrate the tinder and actually get a spark. I've used this thing in the Pacific Northwest when everything was wet. I've used this thing everywhere. Absolutely phenomenal. It makes starting a fire so much easier. And so these three pieces will sit in my pocket. Lastly, um, a bic lighter absolutely phenomenal, uh, wrapped in some of this black gold, the Gorilla Tape. So th these three will sit in my pocket. And so you've got a Bic lighter, you've got uh, the Gorilla Tape. In addition to that, I also just put a fishing hook here for whatever reason, you can use some paracord, you'll be able to create um, uh, a makeshift fishing, fishing setup. And so these will fit in my pocket, I'll be ready to go. In addition to that, I put some cordage. And so we have some cordage here. Uh, just a quick paracord. I'll just put this on my on my wrist. You've got a small little survival blanket, so you'll have that ready to go. You'll have a backup compass, and so you'll have so between this, my Garmin, and my phone, I've got three compasses that I'll be able to triangulate and make sure that they're all working. And the last but not least is just a little bit of calories. Nothing major, just a beef stick, just enough to to you know keep morale up and keep things going. Yeah, you could last three weeks without food, but if you've, if you've done three days without food, you know things start to get delirious. And so just a little bit of morale, some calories for day one or day two while you wait for search and rescue, super important. You can see all of that fits here really, really easy. The last thing, whenever I'm going on a hike, 
I use this and I attach it to my clean canteen single wall. And so I will click this on. It hangs right off my hip belt. This, this hangs actually really, really well. And as you can see here, I use this all the time to boil water. And so between this and my fire kit, I've got everything I need in order to purify water. So I'll hang this here. I've got everything ready to go right off of my hip belt. And so that's my tier one gear. So we'll put that all back. And I always use this. It's the first thing that I pull out of my pack whenever I reach a campsite. And I'll just eat, I'll have all of this gear either on my hip belt or in the zippered pockets of my camping, of my hiking pants. And so fanny pack, Patagonia, really, really solid. Highly recommend everyone grab one of these and make sure that you, you stage your gear appropriately. Um, Let's see. So we've got we've, we've covered a lot of the stuff that's over here. Uh, let's continue to go, you know, uh, go through the rest of the stuff. So if you've never tried to go out and process your own Tinder, it takes time, you know, and sometimes the, you know, you, you arrive to camp and a drizzle starting or you're actually in a full on downpour. You may not have time to go out and create a feather stick. And so just having some backup Tinder, the ability to just throw this down and immediately create a spark. I think is super helpful. These three pieces of kit, um, just backup, additional backup ways to start a fire. Uh, you know, two Bic lighters that I'll throw in different sections of my backpack, as well as a one-handed sparking tool. And what, you know, this, you just squeeze down and press. And so if you're injured, you can still start a fire. Um, if for whatever reason, your Bic lighters are, are not working and you can't use the two-handed fire steel, you've still got a one-handed fire operation set up. So we'll throw this in the kit. Additional calories. So I used Mountain House on the meals and obviously those are not here because I actually ate them. Um, but some backup calories. I love these, the Epic Bison Bars, uh, Bright Bison and Cranberry, as well as these Pro Bars to get a little bit of extra carbs. Uh, these things are great. The ability to have some calories. I use the Mountain House meals. Um, and so all I needed to do was boil some water, boil some water, throw it in my Mountain House pouch and be able to eat the meals. But in addition to that, you've got the, these good. This, the SAS Survival Guide. I mean, it's so small and so dense. I have yet to find, uh, if, if anyone knows if they're still making these, I have not found these anywhere else. I've seen the, the full size one, but the small one, I mean, this is a gem. It's got everything from, you know, different ways to make shelter, um, you know, the ability to, um, you know, actual, you know, edible and uh, edible plants, full color, uh, first aid, I mean, you've got it all. And yeah, you know, you can go through trainings all you want, but if you've, if you've never been in a survival situation, your brain could get a little foggy. And so being able to just have this in your backpack, the ability to pop this open and read through and just calm your mind at night, I think will be helpful in a survival situation. It's super small and it, you know, it takes up no space at all. Why not throw it in there, especially for, for uh, actual camp, overnight camping. Uh, some actual hand sanitizer, you know, you may not have, you know, in addition to that, you've got the hand sanitizer and the Sea to Summit Wilderness Wipes. You know, when you're going to sleep at night and you're feeling a little sticky, you know, being able to just quickly give yourself a wilderness wipe is basically a shower anywhere. And so, you know, just hit in your pits, hit in your arms, hit in your face, the ability, hopefully not in that order, the ability to do, the, you know, just feel like you're, you actually just had a fresh shower right before you go to sleep really helps you go to sleep a lot faster. And then hand sanitizer, you know, if you're eating, you know, snacking on some chips, you wanna make sure that your hands are clean and you're not picking up microbes or bacteria. So we've already talked about my primary way of purifying water, which is boiling. You know, the, if I've got the time, I'm gonna to go to a nearby stream, grab the water, make sure I'm filtering it through uh, either my bandana or something else. So that way I'm not picking up any granules but usually I'm, I'm only doing that to running water. And so there's usually not a lot of, of, of sediment, but then I'll boil it and I'll be ready to go. Um, so in addition to that, my backup is the Catadyne Be Free. This thing weighs nothing at all, holds one liter of water, um, really compact, ability to pack in. You basically, I, I love this thing over any other of the, of the water systems. You basically got a two-stage system. You scoop up a liter of water, you throw this down, you, you, you cinch it down, and you'll be able to drink it directly. Already takes care of all of the pathogens. Highly recommend everyone has a, the Catadyne Beef Free. Really, really love this piece of kit. I've got two pieces of gloves, um, mainly because, you know, uh, my wife, number one, does, rarely carries, carries gloves, and so I've got some gloves for her. 
uh, and then some gloves for me. And so for processing wood, we're creating a shelter. Uh, we're, we're making sure that we're not marring up our hands and getting splinters. Uh, as I previously mentioned, I was processing wood without gloves on, got a splinter in my thumb, took a little bit of time, but we were able to get it out with the tweezers. Why not avoid that, avoid injuries, be able to handle all of that by just having two pairs of gloves. In addition to that, two pairs of headlamps. Uh, we've got the Petzl and then we've got some Cheapo here. Surprisingly, the Cheapo is actually brighter than the, the, the Petzl. Um, I've got a black diamond that I actually forgot. Normally I keep three headlamps, like I mentioned. Most of the most critical gear, I try to have three because it'd be shocking how many times one of them's not working or I forgot one and now I'm only left with one. In fact, that that's the reason I have so much fire gear is that I one time was actually creating a video using the Uberlieb and Tinderwick as well as my fire steel. I forgot that it was, I had left it in my room. And so when I went camping, I didn't have my most critical fire starting gear. And so luckily I had this as my backups. And so it's important, have those backups on backups, you never really know. And so we've got two here. And then also we mentioned we've got the, the Olight as my third backup. And so we've got that taken care of. The Black Diamond, obviously I didn't bring it with me on this trip, forgot it at home. It's normally sitting on my headrest in the back of my truck and I completely forgot it. And so that's why we wanna have, you know, three is three is one, forget two is one, three is one, two is none. One, I mean, forget about it. Ultralight medical kit, love this thing. It's got a little bit of everything. I keep this thing waterproofed and sealed. So you've always got all the, ready, all, all the things ready to go. It's got everything from wound care, medication, blister packs, as well as a splinter and tick remover and safety pin. And so you've got this here. The one thing that I, the one knock that I have on this is it doesn't have enough meds, which is why I also like the Adventure Medical um, Kit. This thing's like a handful of bucks. Highly recommend everyone pick it up. Uh, you can see here, it's got anti-diarrheal medication. So for whatever reason, your, uh, water, your, your water purification method failed you. You still got an anti-diarrheal, so you're not uh, dehydrating yourself from both ends. You've got electrolyte tabs, so for whatever reason you, you ran out of your noons, you've got that ready to go. You've got magnesium oxide, which will help with uh, heat stress and muscle cramping. You've got an antihistamine, so similar to, uh, to a Benadryl. Ibuprofen and acetaminophen and an antiacid. You've got that all ready to go. Um, I do have allergies, and so I'll throw in a couple extra Benadryls in there, and that'll, that'll be my med kit in addition to this to be able to handle any splints or, um, or blisters that I may need. In addition to that, sunscreen um, is one of the most common injuries. It's super annoying if you never had second degree burns from a day out in the sun. I mean, it's, it's painful. It makes it hard to sleep, it dehydrates you. And so this is just a really easy way to apply sunscreen. It's like almost like a deodorant that you can just spread on your face. Um, I prefer this to the creams, but both are great. This thing, wow. Um, I love this thing. This thing is the Mission um it's called it's like the mission cool cool gator and so you literally run this under icy cold water and it'll keep you cool for several hours you, you run this around your neck and it'll literally feel like you have a cool breeze running through your body for several hours and if you want to just recharge it all you got to do is run it through some more icy water and you're ready to go um, in addition to that you can see it's pretty long and so you can use this as a backup bandana as a filtration system um you know, anything that you'd use a bandana for. Bandanas have hundreds of uses. Speaking of bandanas, obviously you always wanna keep one. It'll keep the sun out of your eyes. It'll keep the sun off the back of your neck. It'll help you filter water if it's gunky and muddy. You've got that ready to go. And so keep that bandana stocked and ready to go. A microfiber towel. You can see here, you know, this one's been used often. Um, and so really easy way to just, you know, if you wanna just do a quick stream shower, uh, the ability to just, you know, dry off very quickly. Uh, this thing has a little bit of a, uh, a loop here so you can hang it from a carabiner and hang it from a tree or hang it from your backpack during the day and it'll, it'll be dry within an, uh, an hour to two. Super quick drying, really nice, very compact. Um, oh shit, see there was a spider on there. <laughs> so that's how you know we just got back. Let's see here, let's see if I can grab. You can see that, we just, got a, just killed that spider. So that's how you know we just got back. So we've got a uh, spider on there. So we'll, give that, we'll have to give that one a clean. So you can, I don't know how long that's been sitting in my, uh, in my towel, but hey, you know what? That's part of the wilderness. So while we just talked about bugs, this thing, 
awesome. I mean, I, this, this is the only way I can have a good night's sleep without having, you know, our eight legged friend there crawling into my, uh, into my mouth. And so when I'm sleeping, I'll throw this on there. I'll uh, walk through my sleep setup. I use a, a, can, um, a hammock uh, in order to go sleeping. And so throw this on and I never have to worry about bugs uh, or mosquitoes or flies bugging me at night. I can sleep soundly and I've had two extra excellent nights of sleep just using this over my body. And then I have a blanket covering my body. Uh, so this covering my head. And so talking about the sleep setup, this is it. This is literally my shelter kit. And all it is is two straps. These are the straps that I, I mount to the trees and a hammock system. And so I'll put this on the hammock system and I'll be, I mean, you want to talk about really, I mean, a really nice, comfy night's sleep. Really, really nice. And so you want to just make sure this thing is, is really strong. It's really well made. Um, I'll throw this on there and I'll either use um, a bivy, a survival bivy. So we'll put this here and we'll just be able to tuck in there and be able to handle that. Or, I mean, I, I was able to sleep fine with just my jacket. And so I'll put my jacket on and I was able to sleep just fine. I'll zip that up and be ready to go. Um, in addition to that, you know, some survival cordage. We've talked about this. So this is survival cord. So it's not just regular paracord. In addition to the regular paracord, it's also got the seven strands, but you can see here, it's also got this fire wick. So this red, this red line is actually, um, a ignitable fire wick. And then I don't know if you can find it here. It's also got fishing line in there. So, we, you know, we talked a little bit about, uh, yeah, it's tough to find, but we've got fishing line in here. And so that, that hook that I had earlier, uh, if you needed to go fishing, you've got that. And so cordage, you know, if you needed some extra for your shelter kit, you've got that ready to go. We talked about the survival bivy. I like this one because it's breathable. Um, you know, other bivvies, they end up absorbing a lot of the moisture and so it's a lot harder to sleep in. And so for the extra cold nights, what I did, I actually just laid this on the bottom of my hammock just to prevent the crosswinds from really sucking the uh, heat from me. But I'm, I've got that ready to go. Um, in addition to that, this is a poncho system. So what I like about this poncho system is it's not only a poncho system to, to shed rain. You know, I've been on a couple hikes and rain will come out of nowhere. I'll throw this over my head and be able to protect not only myself, but my backpack. But this one also has grommets on it. And so if I needed to, I can use this as a backup to this tarp. So this is, this is my tarp system that I'm using as a tablecloth here. And so um, if I needed to, I have this as a backup tarp system. And so I've got the grommets. I'll be able to string this across two trees and be ready to go. Um, next is this ultralight Patagonia jacket. I mean, absolutely phenomenal. Weighs nothing at all. I think this is called like something like the ghost whisper, uh, or maybe that's the mountain house version, but you know, you've got this, it's super lightweight. It still sheds and wicks water. Uh, it's also a great windbreaker. It's just a nice, excellent jacket. So you've got that ready to go. And so you've got a lot of potential shelter kits and then back up to the backup, another survival blanket. For whatever reason, you need to lay this as a ground covering or the ability to protect yourself from more crosswinds or for, um, you know, a third party, you know, someone that you come across, you've got another survival blanket or even just signaling, be able to put this up while you're using the other ones. Masks. You know, we're in the middle of a pandemic, and so some places do require masks. But honestly, I found this to be helpful even when I'm tending to the fire. Sometimes the smoke gets in your face, so the ability to put on a mask and not have to deal with that. I mean, if you need to. Next, you want to talk about backups to backups? This thing, it is my EDC pocket survival kit. I go everywhere with this. Highly recommend everyone grab one of these. Um, I have a video on this. I'll, uh, I'll leave a card up top so you'll be able to look at all of the, uh, in, the stuff inside of this. Highly recommend everyone create an EDC survival kit. So it's the backup to your backup. So even if you forgot one of some of your most critical things, you know you've got this covered in your EDC survival kit. And last but not least, bug spray. Really, really important. Uh, you know, I live in Texas. The mosquito is the state bird there. And so the ability to just, you know, spray your body, spray your hands, spray your neck. You know, if I'm walking the green belt, I'll come out there sometimes with 20 to 30 mosquito bites, despite me constantly moving. That's how aggressive they are. And so having this, this one's actually deep free. So no nasty chemicals. Don't really need to worry about it. Really love this thing. And um, yeah, it's absolutely phenomenal. I mean, a huge fan of this. And, um, you know, it's it works surprisingly well. It smells like lemon and eucalyptus. It doesn't smell great, 
but I'd much prefer this to any of those harsh chemicals. And then some three millimeter contractor grade bags, as well as some backup uh, N95 masks. You know, if you, you're dealing with a forest fire, be able to pop this on and be able to get out without inhaling a bunch of carbon, I think is super important. And so you've got this, if you needed to, you could stuff this thing with leaves and sleep on the ground and protect yourself. I don't know what the R rating on that is. I guess it would depend on how many leaves and sticks you're able to fit in there, but it's better than nothing. The ability to have a nice mattress to sleep on underneath the last piece of kit, which is the tent, the, the tarp itself. I love this piece of kit mainly because it's on one side, it's got the, uh, the survival blanket material. So you can use this as a reflection on your fire. And then the other side, you could use it as the, uh, the fire tardation. Um, as well as the, the you know, the, the, the rain protection. And then you can see here, it's got some, some grommets that are reinforced with some heavier canvas. And so I've used this thing all the time. I do wish it was a little bigger, but then it would just take up a lot more space. I believe this one's like a nine by 12, which is really more than you need. Um, and so highly recommend everyone pick this up. It weighs almost nothing, fits in the bottom of your kit. It works as a great makes it, makeshift seat. It works great as a tarp protection, or you want to, you can even throw it on the, um, throw it over your backpack if it's raining to, pr to protect your gear. And so with that, you could see, uh, surprisingly, you could see a lot of gear, a lot of gear here. All of that fits in this awesome Osprey Talon 22. This is maybe my favorite camp overnight camping backpack. Um, if you're just needing for two nights, really, really solid. Weighs almost nothing. It's a 22 liter backpack really light. It's got, and uh, you know, I, I put a couple extra carbiners. You can never have too many carbiners. Um, it's got this extra netting material here. And so, you know, that towel you can throw, throw in here and it'll allow it to air dry or the socks that you wore the day before some extra wool socks be able to put in here. You can see over here, um, the ability to have walking sticks. So you'll be able to feed that through and be able to, to have that attached here. You can put those through here as well. You can cut them and cut them across. And so you've got your walking sticks, be able to put those in there. You've got a helmet attachment. So if you take this thing mountain biking, you can use it for, for mountain biking. Or if you're gonna go uh, mountaineering, you can use it for your climbing helmet. And so you've got that there. Um, a really cavernous main pocket. So you can see it actually fits pretty, pretty deep. What I like about this though, is because it's so deep, not only will you be able to access it there, um, actually, no, this, that's, the, that's the larger version. Um, but yeah, you can see here, it's pretty, pretty cavernous. The one, air, what, the one knock that I would have on this, this actual backpack is, I love these, these mesh pockets. I wish this one was a little bigger. It's a little thin, and so the stuff that you can fit in there can only really be flat packed. I wish this one was a little bigger. As you can see here, I, I wish it was like this size so I can really like stuff it a little bigger and I could use that. that. In addition to that, you've got the, the pocket up top. And so the problem with that is between this one, which is flat packed and this one's flat packed, it creates a lot of pressure on these two pockets. So you can't really use them to their fullest capacity, but better than nothing, I suppose. The next thing that I love are these hip pockets. And so as you can tell, I'm a huge fan of the fanny packs, big fan of fanny packs. And so I've basically created an extra two fanny packs here. And so you've got these, you can load them up with some extra calories. You can load them up with some extra quick access gear, like some big lighters. You can load them up with your bug spray and your sunscreen. And so you've got extra, additional extra quick access pockets while you're hiking. You're not constantly having to pull out uh, you know, really pull stuff out from the main compartment. And so you've got all of that here. The next thing is you've got, I don't really know what this is. I think this is like a cell phone pocket or like maybe a flashlight pocket or maybe a knife pocket. I guess you could probably put your, uh, your, your um, Leatherman in here. I don't really know what this is. You put stuff in there and then really just cinch it down. I'm not sure. Uh, if someone knows, please let me know in the comments. Would appreciate it. And then last but not least, a little bit more hand sanitizer. So just for quick access, not needing to dig into the main compartment. And then you can see here in the back, it's got this awesome airflow, uh, really helps keep your back cool. And you can see this thing is light, super light. And so even with all this gear, you know, I've been able to hike 10 miles, no problem, rocking all of this gear and uh, really, really nice. And then last but not least, a Tilly hat. 
super lightweight, weighs nothing, um, looks brand new despite using this quite some quite a bit. Uh, you've got airflow gusseted pockets here. You've got a lot of really good stuff here, and so keeps the sun off you. Uh, plus, it looks freaking cool. And let's be let's be real. If it doesn't look cool, then why are you even doing it? And so you've got all that ready to go. And so that's it. That's the weekend camping kit. You've got all that ready to go. Uh, as we previously mentioned, we're going to be giving away an SC4 as well as over $500 of many of the goodies that are on this table. And so the way you enter, all you have to do, subscribe, leave a comment. You'll instantly be entered on this video or any, any video once we hit 10,000 subscribers. In addition to that, if you want even more entries, subscribe to the Patreon that we have linked below. You get 10x entries by doing that. Really looking forward to hitting 10,000 subscribers with y'all. Can't wait to continue to grow this channel and can't wait to, to send this SE4 to one more lucky subscriber. Thanks a lot, everyone. Hope this video inspired you to go out there. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Really looking forward to, to doing more videos for y'all. Thanks, everyone, and stay safe.